So I just wanted to share with you um, a morning here, how I start my morning, but especially I've been asked so many times about how do I begin when I'm doing a demonstration, the day of a demonstration, what is my day like? So I um, wanted to share with you what it's like to do, to begin my morning with a, a I know I have a demonstration this afternoon at four o'clock. How do I begin my day knowing that I'm going to be communicating with the spirit world uh, later in the afternoon. So I want to share that with you, how I go about my day and do that, and how I start my day. And that's why it's here at sunrise in my backyard. And I want to share that opening. I'm doing a little uh, mind work, and I want to share with you if you're interested in doing an opening meditation with me. And this is how I pre prep myself for this work this afternoon. Uh, and you also can join me by opening yourself up. And whether you're going to be on the sh uh, readings today at 4 o'clock this afternoon, whether you're part of that, uh, I don't know if you're not, it's a good way to start your day. Uh, it's a good way to get into a habit of starting your day each day, especially when we're living in a, a world right now which is a little bit unstable. And there's a lot of fear running around there. And people are, um, a lot of people are opening up to that. So, um... We don't want that to happen. I'm going to make sure my phone is turned off. I don't know what to ring. Here's my garden. Look at my garden. There we go. I'll show you around. This is my garden that I sit and meditate. I created every one of these plants. Well, not created them. I shared a nice space, so I put them in here. I picked them out of the nurseries. It is my couch. This is a couch. And I always think things should make you happy when you look at things in your garden. So that's what I did. That's what I'm constantly doing. It constantly changes. So, okay. So, um, the most important thing to begin with when you start um, this. So, for me, to begin a, a demonstration, uh, the day of a demonstration, I'm very aware that I'm going to be working with the spirit world this afternoon and communicating with them. And what I want to do is really put my mind in a space of receptivity, that I'm able to reach the highest uh, uh, possibilities, that I'm able to be open enough to expand my mind enough, that I'm able to open up to all the types of personalities, insights, memories, thoughts, emotions that they present into my mind uh, when they come this afternoon. So in order to do that, we have to prepare the mind. We have to prepare the mind, we have to prepare the space for them to do that. And the best way I have found is to open up your space through what I call meditation, sitting in the power, which is opening up to your own self. And I'll teach you a little bit about that right now. So <clears throat> wherever you are, if you'd like to join me, I'd like you to find a place, a focal place. So it could be, um, for me, it's, 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 a, it's a garden here. It's a beautiful garden that I'm in, and I'm focusing on the near the waterfall, uh, a, a beautiful, uh, it's a fuchsia, red fuchsia plant. And I'm going to be looking at that. And um, that's my focus. Okay, so find a place in your environment. And if you're not outside, if you're on the inside of the, your house, your apartment, find something that makes you happy, uh, that brings you joy. And that's really just your focal point. We'll use your focal point. Okay, that's the first thing. So if the first thing is that focal point and that happiness. So you, I, when, you, when you close your eyes, I'm going to you close your eyes and listen to um, my voice. And I'm going to tutor you, uh, or guide you, if you will, in this mindset, in this mind journey, for you to bring in that uh, opening of the mind and to receive the happiness and the joy which is within yourself, that power. Okay, I prefer my personally to do this outside because, in the garden because of the, the energy, the prana, the energy of life. So that's what I do. But you can use it also for any object in your house bring you happiness and joy. Okay, so you're closing your eyes. <clears throat> and as you close your eyes to the outside world, you open up to the inner world of light, realizing in your mind that you are first and foremost a spiritual being having a human experience and not the other way around. You're a soul. So I have the awareness of my soul self. That is a beautiful light within. And in order to embellish that and empower that, I use the breath. For the breath brings life, or it makes us, I would say, more aware of life that we always have. Life, uh, prana. Prana, the energy of life. So all around me, this garden on that beautiful fuchsia plant, I know that beautiful oneness of life, that prana, the energy of life, is the same in all living things. Blades of grass, trees, flowers, leaves, 
animals, humans, uh, it's everywhere. And it's, it's the breath of life. So bring that in us. And I imagine that coming into me through energy, through the top of my head, into my heart, completely washing through me and in me and surrounding every cell, muscle, every fiber of my being with the prana of life. And because the sun is rising here, I also use that sun energy as a golden light that comes into the body. And what happens is I let it stay there softly for about two seconds. And I exhale, let go of any energy which is not of that higher level with the exhalation out of my mouth. So I inhale through the nose, a beautiful golden light and exhale out of my mouth. So inhale, everyone. Beautiful golden light. All the way down the end, the bottom of your feet, outside your feet, down to the earth. Connect with Mother Earth and how wonderful, beautiful she is. Feel her love. And exhale. <sighs> Let go of it. Let go of all that which is not of perfection. Of you. Feel a beautiful prana bringing life to you at source. You are powerful. You are the light. You are love. You are God. And exhale. <sighs> Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Good. I almost feel like it's a fan when you let go. You breathe it all out. And inhale that beautiful golden light, that prana. That's beautiful. And exhale. Like a fan. Let it go. Now I'm aware that not a lot had to leave. That I'm in a good space. I feel okay. I do feel a sense. There's a lot of worry around people. A lot of worry around the world. Of course I know that. But I feel that. I sense that. I'm not going to let it be a part of me. Because that's not who I am. I'm going to be aware of it. And inhale. Higher and higher, you can see yourself as a tree growing all the way up. The highest in the forest. That sunlight. And exhale. <sighs> Giving more fertilizer. All that dirt that comes out is fertilizer. Give it back to Mother Earth. Good. And you continue breathing like that in your natural rhythm, natural way. And as you do that now, just realize that you are here on this Earth for a purpose. That you are a soul that has chosen this time to be here to do some very important work to help bring light to this planet and it starts with yourself you have to bring light and love and respect for yourself responsibility for yourself how can other people love you if you don't love yourself you need to find that kernel of love that light that you get or are the, don't get programmed what people say you are or think you are nothing with family nothing you're unique, you're different, you're yourself. So you gotta give yourself that nurturing, that careful sense of love. Imagine now, as you are with your eyes closed, that you hold your arms and there's a baby in your arms. The baby in your arms, and you look down at that baby, and I want you to look at their face. And as you look at their face, I want you to see your own face on that baby. How would you treat a newborn baby? That is how I want you to treat yourself. That is how I want you to love and nurture yourself. Bring no harm to that baby, to that beautiful soul, which is you. And now that I'm in the space to receive, I am going to set an intention for the day. And I ask Divine Heavenly Parent, guides, angels, loved ones who are around and share the space in which I walk today. I ask to keep my mind open to higher thoughts, higher levels of awareness, complete and utter unconditional love, and seeing love in all things, all experiences today. May I realize that I am merely an observer of things. I don't have to take it in. I am ready to serve the spirit when the time is right. I open up that space. I thank you with gratitude in my heart for bringing me this day to shine my light to others. I thank you and bless you. And so it is.